I've had three things that have happened to me in my life that have never left me. <coughs> One was, um, I remember when I was very young, somebody said I had hands like a navvy. Oh. And then two, um, <laughs> one boyfriend, um, it, uh, well, it was, it was mainly my ex actually said, um, I remember meeting him and him saying, oh, you know, you've, um, you, you've not grown old very well and you've put on weight and you're not as good looking as you used to be. And, and, and then another guy uh, put in the papers, he replied to something that I hadn't even put in the papers and he said, oh, yes, she used to be a good looking girl, but, you know, sadly she's lost her looks. Oh. And the thing is, how you know, rude. yeah, how rude, and and also that sticks with you because you know it it, jibes really can destroy you yeah. because they you think oh mm. this, how silly is that but you know they don't go away do they they no. things stay with you and you cannot get rid of them and it's the saddest thing because I've tried and I've all so I've always had that thing I've always mm. had that stigma and you shouldn't let people do that to you but it's impossible really yeah, I mean and is. I've always and had it I must admit my mum and dad sort of brought us up you know that you didn't really think too much about how you look. We were brought up, you know, it wasn't, oh, you're so sweet and lovely. We just kind of got on with it. But what I found out uh, recently was I had really bad acne when I was, uh, when I was a teenager. My mum said uh, her and dad used to discuss, should we keep her off school tomorrow? Because my face was so hideous. <laughs> and I'm really glad they decided, no, we'll just not mention it and send her off to school. Because that, that would have hurt me yeah, more. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, you come it. down to school in your uniform, and goes, we think you should stay at home today. It's too <laughs> ugly. But then actually, <laughs> I've always been a duck, so you haven't got any problems. <laughs> Because I've always had duck feet. Uh -huh. Web feet, yeah. I haven't yeah, now. They've been cut for no. I was a duck when I was born. Oh, yeah. glad, <laughs> glad to see you better now, yes. Sherry. Yeah. Here's your last chance of this week's competition where you could grab a simply scary £15,000. Have a go at answering this question correctly. Who currently presents ITV1's All-Star Family Fortunes? Is it A, Vernon K, B, Paul K, or C, Peter K? Call 9412 -931 Calls cost £1 from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher, and from mobiles will be considerably more. Text A, B, or C to 63303. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. Digital satellite viewers can enter by pressing the red button now. You can also enter for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. All lines close at 10 a.m. Saturday, the 1st of November. Entries made after this time won't be counted, but may still be charged. The best of luck with that. Okay, our oh, Jane's very familiar with her final guest of the week, having made a guest appearance on the award-winning romp that is the Friday, now Sunday night, project. The show he co-hosts with Justin Lee Collins. Whether it's rapping with Mariah Carey or performing Doctor Who on ice, his zany sense of humour has found a huge audience, and he's even landed his own quiz show, Celebrity Ding Dong, which this week featured our very own Colleen. For a celebrity ding dong exclusive with what I hope will be the first of many collaborations and performing absolutely a thousand percent live, <coughs> please give a big welcome to Colleen Nolan and Anthony Costa singing Fly Without Me! Take it away! Everybody's looking for that something. <laughs> One thing that makes it all complete. Please welcome Alan Carr. get on oh she was great she whisked up there and it was um <laughs> very t that harness was Do you know what? I've, I've done that before it's, it's very painful oh, actually oh, I know. Horrible. I, me and um justin did that advert <gasps> where we were hanging from outside this manor house and it was real it was all it, like metal it and does. it was cutting did up. it check if it did shave, and I was dressed as a cheerleader, and um, <laughs> as you do with my life, I'm always in tights. And um, yeah, and it started snagging on the hook, and I was like, help, help! <laughs> St John's well, ambulance man had to like rip them off and apply some sandblast. So. You obviously like dressing up. Do you like Halloween? I do like Halloween. Um, I was saying about how scary you are. If you want to get scared, I don't know if you've ever done this, but um, f um, text your landline. Have you done that? No. no. Someone texted my oh, landline yes. and you get the creepy voice. Oh, yeah. And someone sent me a lovely text, but I picked it up and it was like, Good night, Alan. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes. 
<laughs> it's like having a nuisance call from, like, uh, Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, in, in normal texting, it's nice. See you yeah. tomorrow. Nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Do you know why my friend said once I texted her house by mistake, I thought I'd... And I sent it in the middle of the night thinking it'll be in a bag, she'll get it. Did I woke her up in the middle of the night yeah. with a scary voice? The phone yeah, rings, because the yeah. phone yeah. rings, and you go, oh, who's no. this at this time of night? Are you done now, It's just it's like... like it is. Well. Oh, oh, I know, oh, I know, oh, well. Well, well it is just like trick-or-treating, because that can be a bit scary. Do you, what do you think to trick-or-treating, all these kids? Oh, I don't mind them trick-or-treating, but when they got a crap, Costume, Pardon do you know what me. I mean? Yes. And, it's actually, good. and it's a bin liner and a stick which they've got out your recycling bin. <laughs> I own that. <laughs> and they want money, they don't want you come out with no, the Jenny Dodgins and some Arabo. Oh, no. <laughs> like like egg or anything. Do you give her money then, do you? No, I tell them through the letterbox. <laughs> Turn all the lights out and hide. Oh, I'm not know. that bad, but they, they do. They get if, if they got a night because they've got little peepholes. So I look yeah. for that, and if it's like a nice costume and they've gone to a lot of trouble, then obviously I'll give them a you know, Jammy yeah. Dodge and a Jaffa <laughs> <laughs> Not a pet more. It's like threatening behaviour, though, isn't it? I think. Uh, it is. It depends. Not all of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh no. my lord. We've got something very <laughs> special. Oh. 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 It's no, scary. It's, it's your own pumpkin. Oh. And we thought we'd give it to you, Mum. Oh. That's brilliant. Oh, oh, look at that. Did you contribute to that birth? <laughs> <laughs> C-section. Oh, no. Oh, that is lovely. You couldn't wish for oh better. God. That's you lovely. Know, but you know, you were saying, you know, has anyone done anything that's made you feel uh, bad yeah. about your body? Well, can I just show that? Look at the teeth. <laughs> Look at it's the tape. Has anybody no. ever said anything to you then? Well, apart from in apart PE from when they said... Apart from putting your face on a pumpkin. Um, yeah. I mean, in PE they said I should wear a sports bra, but... <laughs> They were swinging around. Oh, no. they were swinging around, and they were putting some of the they're older a lot members. Now, I know they're they? quite because I do like um, oh, press sure. ups. Yeah, 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 that's it. So they've gotten a bit. But I mean, I remember I joke about my teeth, but I remember going into the dentist, you know, at thirteen, and him going, right, what we're going to do with this? Just looking <laughs> at them like that, and I mean. Because, um, you know, I joke about it all the time and stuff with yeah. me teeth and everything. But you've got to be careful. You've not got to, like, believe your own thing. Because I go yeah. on about them all the time. And they're not that bad, they're are they? No, they're not lovely. Really. In certain lovely. lights, they look like toe separators. But... <laughs> <laughs> toe separators are very useful, as are you, because you're going to hang around. Yes. Uh, we're going to go to a little break now, but you're going to... <laughs> Welcome back to the final piece of Loose Women for this week. And the lovely Alan Carr is still with us. Thank you for hanging about. No, I mean, Anastasia was trying to get me to get rid of my glasses. No. Oh, no. It's no. part of you. No, she wasn't. no I was, watch <laughs> I was <laughs> watching it. I was thinking, she made it sound so... But is it as easy as having the... Oh, I, don't, um... I don't know. She said it. Yeah. She said it. Yeah, it's I bound to no, be. You don't you worry, you though. Do that, no, no, I never have it done. But don't you think, like, it'll go wrong or something? Didn't you feel it'd go wrong? No. Oh. Not yeah, what if it did? It. That's why I... I oh, I'd Carol. Too yeah. Yeah. Did, did you have one eye done, then the other one? Or no, did you I have both done? Both oh, together. that's great. Oh. It was, actually. I didn't realise it was so big. But, uh, it, you Does see, it no, I, no, it didn't hurt at all, Someone you see. Someone said you, yeah. you smell a burning sense. Oh, Alan! <laughs> 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 